Hey, welcome everyone to another Fireside Chat. This is Thursday, June 4th. Just really excited to be able to have this time with you guys. Hey, I'd I want to give you just a little heads up of what, about what's coming this Sunday. Really excited about it. And have a short devotional uh, for you as well. We'll pray together. But um, hey, this Sunday we're going to be talking about God's love for us. With this pandemic that's been going on, it seems to be winding down, at least for now. But now also with all these riots going on, it just seems so much like our society is unraveling. We're just wondering, does God have anything to say about this? Um, does God care about us in the midst of all of this? And so we're going to be looking into the book of Romans and talking about God's love for every single one of us. And so really excited. I hope you can join us uh, because this is going to be the first Sunday we actually get to be together in this place physically in person, and uh, so 9.30 Sunday morning, and then, hey, remember afterwards, make plans to stick around with us because we're going to be hosting a barbecue. Um, you don't have to bring anything. In fact, we ask you not bring anything except yourself uh, because we'll be providing all the food and condiments and everything, dessert, all the side dishes, and we are going to make a slight change to our plans. Since there's a possibility of rain in the forecast for Sunday, and even if it doesn't rain, it sounds like it's going to stay rather cool. I think about the time we'll be having our barbecue, it's supposed to be like 50 to 55 degrees at the warmest. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have our barbecue inside here so we can stay nice and dry and nice and warm for sure. We've got plenty of room here in the sanctuary. We can push the chairs to the side, set up tables, and so yeah, you can feel safe uh, we can all feel safe congregating here and enjoying some delicious food together and some fellowship. So anyway, hope you can make plans to join us for that, both for our morning worship service and for our barbecue. And we'll look forward to seeing you then. Um, but I have a, a short devotional I wanted to share with you today just to kind of help us keep things in perspective about this world that we live in and what is really, truly important. We just finished the series on the days of Christ's return. I hope you were able to take all three in, and I hope you were challenged. I hope you were really encouraged that God is in control of everything, and we could very well be approaching Christ's soon return. But whether we are or not, you know, there will come a day where we all leave this world and pass on. And in that moment, it's not going to really matter the monuments we've built for ourselves here, the mansions, the legacy, the, the stock account, bank account, or anything. The only thing that's going to matter is what we have sent on ahead of us. And so, Billy Graham had some great words to share along this line in his devotional book, Hope for Each Day, and so I just wanted to read this <clears throat> called Living a Holy Life, based on Matthew chapter 6, verse 20, where Jesus instructs us, he says, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. And so here's what Mr. Graham writes. An old gentleman, a great man of God, lay on his deathbed. He summoned his grandson to come to his side. Calling the boy's name, he said, I don't know what type of work I will be doing in heaven, but if it's allowed... I'm going to ask the Lord Jesus to let me help build your mansion. So you make sure you send up plenty of the right materials. So living a life of purity and love, leading others to Christ as we share our faith, doing good works in Christ's name, all of these things are materials that may be sent on ahead. Our service for the King. These can never be touched by the fluctuations in the earthly economy, by natural disaster, or by thieves. So the question is, what kind of materials are you sending up to heaven? And here's the hope for today. We plan for our earthly futures, college funds, retirement plans, and so forth. Are you putting the same planning into storing up treasures in heaven? What have you done today that will be credited to your eternal account? And you know, those are some good things to keep in mind. Not just once in a lifetime, but every single day. What are we going to do this day that lays up treasures for us in eternity? Because that's what's really going to count. 
And real, you know, really the greatest treasure is the investment that we make in people. Because we know that God's heart is for people. He desires as many people with Him in, in eternity as He possibly can get. So what do you think He'll do for His servants, for His children, who are working to point others to Him? Think about that. So that's what I wanted to leave you with today. Hopefully we'll be able to see you Sunday. Hope you can join us for that. But as we close this out, will you join me and let's pray. Father, I thank you for your hand upon our lives and that you have this world in control. It is in the palm of your hands. And Father, even though we don't understand everything that's going on in our world and why you allow some of the different things to take place that take place, God, we know that you're still in control and you are always working to draw people to yourself. You want to demonstrate your love to us. And, and we're going to be talking about that for this Sunday. God, would you prepare our hearts and our minds for that? Anoint our time together. Anoint us to receive that word. And, and just be open to what you want to speak into our lives. But God, I would pray that you'd help each of us see that, Lord, you don't push aside. You don't, do not neglect our pain and suffering. All these horrible things that are happening... You entered into them with us through your son Jesus, and he experienced all of them. In fact, he experienced the worst that we could throw at him because of our sinful condition. Father, you gave us that choice, and look what we have done with that in our world. But Father, we know a day is coming when you're going to sweep all injustice aside. It's all going to be taken care of because of what Jesus did. And in that day... When Jesus returns and you bring everything back under the authority of your Son, God, we're going to know true justice. We're going to know true peace, true joy. We're going to know how to live with each other in unity. And, and Father, we look forward to that day. Until that day comes, though, God, help us to demonstrate your love. Help us to practice forgiveness. Help us to show forth your grace so that a lost world and people struggling in sin can have a picture of you. And they can see that in us, God. And so, Father, we ask this now in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to send our resources on ahead of us and not get caught up in this world. And we pray this all in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Looking forward to seeing you this Sunday.